Ah, isn't this just the best? Freshly cleaned glass in your vivarium so you can check out the frogs and plants and what's going on inside that tank. All to be rudely interrupted by the very cool and expensive misting system. That puts a lot of water into your tank and a lot of humidity and the animals and plants love it. And the only people that really suffer are you and me trying to look through that tank because now it's full of condensation and fog and you cannot see through it and it only gets worse the longer it goes on for without cleaning what if i told you there's a product out there that helps keep that glass as clear as possible no matter how much misting you're doing how much water is hitting it if you've got them in a rain chamber if you've got a paludarium where water splashes up on the glass all the time Think you'd be interested? I know I would be. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So stay tuned. Yo, what's hoppin' new friendos? Welcome back to the Tropical Garage. My name's Troy, and today we're gonna be talking about an upcoming product that um, I'm really excited about and I'm sure after you guys see this video you're gonna be excited about it too um, not just poison dart frog keepers but um, plant keepers that use grow tubs or tree frog keepers or any animal really that requires a lot of humidity inside the vivarium um, where you're constantly getting fog and condensation and water droplets and residue all kinds of stuff on the actual glass and you can't look through it and enjoy the tank that you worked so hard to build um, this is kind of the answer to it and it's still in the early phases of testing um, but I've tested it out just for a few days and so far I can't say enough good things about it it's ridiculously cool and awesome um, and um, yeah Trey Bell my buddy um, the guy you guys saw on the channel um, a few months ago pitching the Biotope uh, Vivarium, which is still coming out. Um, it's just going to be different. That was the prototype, and uh, he's made some changes, and everything with COVID kind of put a delay on that. So um, it is still coming out, and you guys will see that, I think, middle of September uh, is what he's saying. But Trey was just up here this weekend, so he brought me a couple products he wanted to talk to me about. and see if I'd be interested in making uh, a video on it. And once I saw it, I was like, oh, yeah, dude, I'm making a video on that. That's, it's freaking awesome. Um, so basically it is a glass film. Um, it goes on like window tint or anything um, that you're putting on glass. Uh, this isn't really tinted per se. Um, it's basically clear as you guys saw in those little clips early in that uh, intro. It's, it's got protective layering on both sides of it. Um, so when you're, you know, measuring it for the glass, you just set the glass on it, cut it out. Um, we, I recommend leaving um, a little space. Like, you know, if, if your glass door, say it's mine are uh, 17 by 11, um, I would make it like 16 and maybe even three quarter um, by 10 and three quarter. You know, basically have a quarter inch, um, you know, an eighth of an inch on top, eighth of an inch on bottom, uh, eighth of an inch on side to side. Um, just so if you've got tracks like me, sliding door tracks, you allow space where it's not going to hit that tint and make it want to bubble up. Um, I mean, I'm sure people thought about it before, like Rain-X or something on the glass, but you don't want chemicals or anything. And it was originally, originally made for, you know, protective masks, um, like clear masks, so humans can wear them. So it's, it's non-toxic or anything like that. There's no... Um, it's not like window tint in the fact that after you have it on and you try to take window tint like on a car You try and take that off. There's a strong adhesive and you pretty much have to razor blade it off this From what we've seen I've had it on one of them on for two days. Um, it peels right back up um, And if, if you need to get if you've got a bubble or you've got dirt or something in there a hair You can get it out and then reapply it. Um, you don't have to worry about that glue really like the adhesive really setting in uh, I would compare it to like screen protectors on iPhones or iPads or smartphones, I guess you should say, um, you know, or like the tempered glass that you put on and it sticks on that glass. But when you take that tempered glass off or if it cracks, you take it off, there's no residue on the, on your actual phone. Um, so I would compare it to something like that. But 
Um, yeah, it's a really cool product. I've already been talking for far too long about it. So um, I'm going to show you guys, you know, I skipped forward uh, cutting, cutting it to size. I mean, you guys should be able to figure out how to cut the cut the clear adhesive or the, the clear film to size to fit your door. Um, so I really just filmed us um, applying it to the glass. And, and the, the left panel of glass has no film on it. The right panel of glass does have the film on it. So um, that's it for this intro. Uh, it's way too long. I'll probably cut some stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the outro in, I don't know, a few minutes. So um, enjoy this part of the video. Guys, on to the installation portion. We have the glass turned inside out and you do want to wipe it down with something that's not going to leave fibers or anything like that, dust particles. So uh, we've got that turned inside out. You want to spray it down with some water. Good old fashioned H2O. This is reverse osmosis water. And Trey Bell there is going to peel off the protective layers of the film. It's a Alexan film, I believe. That's dumb. I don't know why I said that, but I did. So um, as you can see here, he ever so gracefully peels off that protective coating. And uh, yeah, basically you're just going to uh, you can also spray down the the coating as well as we did just so it's uh just you you've got some play for smoothing it around and you see that it just kind of goes right up on the glass and uh, you're gonna have some air bubbles and water you're gonna need to squeegee out so do so and just press out press it out from the center up to the edges using the corners um, also when you're squeegeeing it we uh, sprayed some water just so it could have some something in between um, you're less likely to scratch the material by doing that um, on a side note I will say the squeegee we use we just picked up from Home Depot or Lowe's it's just hard plastic it's for like wallpaper um, we don't recommend something like that you're gonna want something with like a silicone edge or something that's you know fabric coated on the squeegee side which is like the edge which you're using to smooth out the film just because this is a transparent film and uh, it will leave little scratches you can see uh, I'm not too worried about it this is you know light years different than my uh, glass that I've been dealing with uh, on this particular tank so um, just a side note to you guys uh, and I believe Trey is working on something of getting a basically installation kit that will come with this you know some sort of uh, razor blade and um, you know squeegee for this actual application so when he does launch this product it should come with that also, when you're uh, wiping the, like trying to dry off the film, um, you will see some little white looking suds. That's what the water does when it hits this film. It turns into very tiny bubbles. Um, and you can kind of see here as he's wiping it, you'll see those little streaks, but they disappear. You see the water just kind of dissipates and uh, disappears into thin air like magic. Um, also, you, if you get any bubbles or there's like dirt or hair or anything, the film, as you see here, Trey uh, lifts it up very easily and removes whatever was causing the bubble and just smooths it right out. Um, it's not like some of those tints that when you start smoothing it, it sticks really hard. Um, you know, this, this pulls right up. It doesn't leave that uh, adhesive like most window tints. Um, and you can see here, Trey's just... Uh, Trying to get it as perfect as possible, smoothing it out, and uh, now we are going to reinstall the door. And he's being very careful with my tank. I am way more rough on my stuff, and uh, but you know I mess with these tanks every day. Trey, uh, I don't know how many times he's opened this tank, but not many. So he's being a little more careful because it's not his and it's mine. So, we've got both installed. You can see there, there is sort of a color difference in the right side. That's the side with the, the film on it. Um, slight clarity difference from the plain glass with no film as opposed to the side with the film. Um, so we're just, we're spraying it and um, we're gonna see and show you guys real time. Um, I kind of speed things up and do some cuts um, just to show you you know, I don't want, I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch, uh, it's like watching hair grow. Um, so, yeah, you'll see that the left panel starts to get lots of condensation, while the right panel it looks pretty much the same as it did before I started misting. 
um, and it continues to get worse and worse and worse so um, really cool to show you the side-by-side -side difference um, and here I'm actually turning the misting nozzles around so they're facing directly on the glass just to kind of speed up the condensation process so uh, yeah you can see it's definitely speeding up the condensation process and but this is how my glass looks honestly after a day if I don't run the fans in here it it definitely looks like this um, so you can see all the condensation that's gaining on the left side you're getting some condensation at this point on the right but um, just keep watching and you'll see the huge huge difference between the two um, like right now I mean look at that the left side is severely covered in condensation the right side you can still actually make out the majority of the plants that are there the left side there's stuff that gets blurry up top and I mean you, you can't see anything so it's really really impressive results with this um, so I'll show you here a little close-up I mean look at all that condensation there and then over here it's like magic where to go where to go I mean, I didn't do any editing. There was no cleaning in between takes or anything. That's straight on. You guys saw it. That's real time. I sped it up with the speed, but it's that's real time, which what you're seeing. Um, and you I mean look at these close-ups. It's it's nuts. I mean, it's just awesome stuff. Um, I mean, I can't wait to cover my entire room in this stuff. Uh, look at that right there I mean what would you you know if someone says something about the that film color I mean what would you rather have the left or the right come on all right guys I hope that you enjoyed that installation and thought it was pretty easy and I hope you guys are as excited as I am about this product I think it's gonna be game-changing for the poison dart frog hobby and many of the other herp hobbies um, I think it's gonna be something that everyone's gonna want um, so I mean why you know we get these animals because we really do love them and you want to watch them and see them and see their behaviors and everything and when your tank is covered in condensation you can't really do that in the majority of the time so now we should be able to um, all along while having super humid tanks and if you want like breed if you're simulating the breeding season or you know the wet season um you're still going to be able to view them which is awesome and uh yeah it's a, it's i just think it's really cool um a couple things about the product um so the way it keeps water off it is it's hydrophobic which just means water does not want to hang out with it um that's the the my version of it um, there's a much more scientific and big worded version, but that's my version. Water doesn't want to hang out with it. Um, the, uh, the film is going to be available. I would say, you know, I talked to Trey. He thinks that it'll be available in, within the next month. Um, it's going to be around five bucks a square foot. And, you know, basically make sense of it for an 18 by 18 by 24 Exoterra. You're basically going to be spending about 10 bucks a tank, which is extremely reasonable. Um, I mean, that's that's downright cheap for what it's doing for the tank. Um, and in some of the slider tanks, like um, the big one, the 44 by 17 by 24, Trace said it'd be about 30 bucks for me to do that. Um, so $15 per piece of glass, which to me is inexpensive for, like I said, for what you're getting. Um, so yeah, like I said, Trey's getting on it and. He's gonna have it, try and have it available by mid to late August. Um, you can look him up on Facebook and you can, don't really ask him about when it's, just, just keep checking back on the channel. I'm gonna be posting a video whenever I get my film in, um, whenever he gets it to me. Um, I'll be one of the first people to get it, um, the first order or whatever, so. Um, you can just check back. I'll do an update on the channel, a quick update, or on my Instagram when I actually get the product. So um, once you see I have it, um, it's, it's available. Okay. So um, yeah, but don't don't you don't need to message him or anything like that. Um, he really doesn't really want to be bothered by that just yet. He wants to get the product out and get kicking on it as soon as possible, um, and then you guys can flood him with messages about where can I get it. 
I need this much, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, I think that's really it. We touched on everything. Um, it is super easy to install and yeah, it's freaking amazing. And I hope that you guys were able to see the difference that I saw with it. Um, if you are not seeing that, then you're dumb. I don't know. Um, it's a crazy difference, but um, I haven't checked to see how many of my most recent views were viewed by subscribers. I don't know, but I'm sure it's still up around the 60 or 70% are not subscribed to my channel. So uh, subscribe to my channel. It, it, it'll be cool for me and for you. It's fun. So it'll be fun for all of us. It'll be a good time. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be great. So subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Ufraga Histrionica. And uh, I think the next video I'm going to be doing a plant tour. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know down in the comments. Um, either a plant tour or a top, top 10 orchids for vivariums. And uh, in my experience for, you know, pretty wet environment. Um, yeah, let me know down in the comments and we'll see you on the next video. Goldberg, out.